Most organizations today are reimagining themselves for a digital first world. As technology advances, such as the application of artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, and 3D engineering, become more interconnected, the possibilities for a digital world become real now more than ever. As replicas of the real, digital twins have now become a possibility with an enormous range of applications and potential use cases in numerous industries. Digital twins allow us to create digital models of real-world objects, systems, and processes to simulate real-world scenarios. And now, there are applications of digital twins in the world of fintech. So in this video, I'm going to chat about what digital twins are, their applications, and and the potential opportunities for the technology in the fintech arena. If that sounds interesting to you, then let's talk about it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so because on this channel I speak about fintech, digital transformation, personal and career development. Now I've been away for some time because of a bit of traveling and relocation. I hope you like the new setup, but we're back and I should be churning out more content from now on. Digital twins are by definition a digital representation of a physical object, process or service. They are digital replicas of real world objects such as jet engines or wind farms or even larger objects like buildings or an entire city. The digital twin technology can be used to duplicate processes in order to gather data and also forecast performance. So in essence, a digital twin is a software program that simulates how a process or product would work using data from the real world. Now why is that useful? Well, because if you can model an opportunity, an external risk, or an internal change using digital twin technology, it gives you the opportunity to use those outcomes to influence policy, to foresee opportunities of growth, or even avoid potential disaster. However, digital twinning is very different from predictive analytics. Predictive analytics produces a unique outcome based on a small set of inputs and a specific objective. But because digital twins consider a variety of variables, it's easy to get several results and then modify them by modifying those variables just like you would in a spreadsheet. A digital twin can not only provide you with oversight of your business, but it can also provide you with previously unanticipated insights. Now, the concept of a digital twin isn't entirely new. It was first put forward by David Galenter in his 1991 book Mirror Worlds. However, it was NASA that gave the concept its name. Digital twin technology was then used by NASA to create digital simulations of spacecraft and capsules for testing. Now, that has evolved to the point where we we now have digital twins used in so many industries. Now, one iteration of digital twins that is very interesting is digital humans. Now, digital humans currently aren't exact digital replicas of actual people. However, they are AI-powered, human-like virtual beings that can easily connect to any digital brain to share knowledge and interact using verbal and non-verbal cues like tone of voice and verbal expression. We already have chatbots and virtual assistants that facilitate autonomous digital communication. However, their purpose is primarily functional and there's still the lack of the human touch. The avatar of a digital human can produce a whole range of human body language backed by AI that can interpret clients' input and give back to them not just the facts they need, but the appropriate non-verbal responses as well. And this all comes together with the intention to merge automation with the human element that most customers require. Now let's bring it back to the fintech industry. Digital twins are a technology that must be embraced by the financial sector in general if it's to use data and artificial intelligence for meaningful disruption. Within banking, the digital bank channels such as the apps and online banking are intended to be digital copies of physical bank channels and physical processes that occur within those channels. Now, these digital channels can house and replicate a customer's financial life such that they are able to transact remotely without having to interact with the physical currency, the checks, or other physical stores of value. Now imagine being able to replicate this as a predictive regulatory and security mechanism. Digital twins of banking systems can provide a 360 view of how an enterprise operate and how it might do so in the future while factoring in massive number of variables. For example, when it comes to marketing and customer acquisition, if you can accurately recreate your customer using enough historical data and behavior inferences from the behavior of other customers, not only can you predict what they might need in the 
the future, but you can also entice them with the right offers, opening up opportunities to more thoroughly meet their needs across different sectors. Banks can estimate and evaluate the effects of transformational projects using digital twin technology. This establishes an organization's, let's call it nervous system, and makes use of corporate memory to build learnings based on fresh experiences. For instance, to enhance the process, client onboarding could be based on recent engagements and past performance. The same strategy could also be used to introduce new products. When it comes to branch and channel management, digital twins can be used to optimize and model the effects of changes to the channel mix on consumers and co-workers. A bank will be able to develop the new ideal channel mix for a new engagement before putting it into practice in the real world using branch and channel models and the data around the processes, the skills, and the experiences they have serving customers. In risk management, lending should benefit from the ability to estimate risk, particularly given how well loans made to individuals and businesses have performed over the past, say, 12 to 18 months. Now, creating a framework for predicting payback will help a bank proactively manage its reserves and strengthen its balance sheet. Likewise, it is possible to examine emerging risk rapidly and effectively by simulating a bank's network and security capabilities. And when it comes to digital customer engagement and customer experience, the relationship management aspect can be increasingly complex because client expectations and demands are always changing. In order to build longer lasting successful partnerships, businesses must now examine client journeys rather than just transactions and acknowledge that the course of the journey is influenced by factors such as life stage, market trends, and other external factors. Digital twins enable firms to monitor their products through a kind of x-ray vision by simulating things, systems, or processes. For retailers, this could entail anything from compiling transactions to using sensors to track customer visits. For banks, it may refer to users' interactions with the financial channel like an app, how the use of it changes in response to significant life events, or which features they favor more when aesthetic improvements are made. Similarly, virtual assistants like chatbots or interactive voice recordings for customer care can evolve based on information gleaned from digital twins, and this helps to anticipate customer needs or alleviate their pain points rather than being simply reactive. For the greatest benefits, this would require using data and information from third parties or third party applications. Now, one of the challenges for support staff in call centers or online is being able to pinpoint a customer's problem, particularly because the service offerings are now becoming ever more nuanced and complex. Now, digital twins can alleviate this by providing responses from the product itself based on constantly growing and refining data of other interactions combined with what the company has on record about the customer's profile and their previous interactions. Now, at the same time, digital twins can empower companies to troubleshoot likely problems with new services and create fixes before taking them to the public. Financial service providers face ongoing issues with cybersecurity and fraud, and the shift to remote working has only made matters worse. However, Digital Twins is particularly well suited to assist in overcoming that. Imagine that a verified customer's digital twin is developed and flags can be raised if someone makes a fake transaction that doesn't conform with what the digital twin is expected to do or behave. By being able to simulate security breaches or cyber attack scenarios, artificial intelligence solutions can be trained to recognize threats they may not have yet encountered. This is crucial considering that cyber threats are designed to continue to adapt to the technologies designed to thwart them. Some Something the financial sector probably can attest to more than any other industry. Now, additionally, as customers grow more at ease, limiting their financial operations to online or digital channels, those channels will only grow more attractive to dishonest actors attempting to find and exploit any vulnerabilities. Multiple attacks on a virtual twin can be used to train defense mechanisms and expose any flaws in them so that they can be fixed before an actual real attack. Now, these are a few examples, and I anticipate that we'll see a lot more in the coming future. Through the creation of new use cases, there is still a chance to promote innovation, lower cost and minimize risk. The moment is here for more research and experimentation and now we have large tech companies like Microsoft who have democratized the ability to produce digital twins with the provision of cloud native data and data science platforms, making it easier than ever to deliver the corporate digital nervous systems, the memory and the brain of the future. I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, remember to hit the like button and leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.